guys, and welcome to Nameless, the one thing you must recall. So, I have realized something about myself. I have realized that the main reason I eat junk food is not because I'm hungry. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not because of that. It's because I absolutely have to be chewing something if I'm bored. And I don't know why. So right now I have gum in my mouth, so if you hear me chewing gum for whatever reason, I'm sorry. But for whatever reason, if I'm bored or I just have like nothing remotely good to do, like, or even if I have something remotely good to do, I just, I have to be chewing something and I don't know why. Like, I'm pretty sure I possibly made this realization before in the past, but of course, knowing me, I probably forgot all about it. And let's be honest here, chewing gum is a lot healthier in some respects, and also a lot, like, cheap. Like, it's cheaper compared to buying, like, four bags of family-sized potato chips constantly. So, I'm gonna, like, try my best and just buy gum instead and see how far I can get, and maybe, just maybe, I'll actually eat a little bit more healthy now. Who knows? I did buy some carrots and dip in order to have some incentive in order to eat that instead for a snack. So, I don't know. We'll see how far it goes. Anyway, might as well continue with our little ice prints here and see how far we can go. Which... I think could be far, considering I'm doing- I think I'm doing okay so far, considering. Like, I haven't made any major mistakes yet, so I don't know. Anyhow, let's go. I was kind of excited to go shopping, since I haven't in a long time. Of course, although the money source was quite suspicious. Whoa, so big! Nice! This will be our second headquarters from now on! If the department store is the headquarters, then are all the shoppers the enemy? Lance looked at Red in disdain. Of course he was just being sarcastic, but he wasn't completely wrong. The department store resembled a war field with so many shoppers roaming around, and they were chasing the items with such aggressive looks. Today is a sale day. Food! Food! Is it because it's sale season? There's a lot of people. <sighs> if I knew it would be like this, I would not have come. You guys, stop being so tacky and follow me. You'll get lost, you know. Today is the weekend, and this is a crowded department store in a weekend. On a weekend. That's the one time you would actually use on! Ugh! Ah, God damn it. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. This is why I'm tempted to become a translator when I, as a job, because I already want to learn Japanese and I feel like Japanese and Korean are similar enough where I could transfer over some of my knowledge from Japanese to Korean. Maybe, I don't actually know, but either way, that'd be nice and it would be nice to like read the languages as well as be fluent in speaking them so like I could do the translations because I'm picky with English. Ugh. I need to repair the world that wants more translations for things. Like, yeah. I really want to do that because it would bring me joy. It would, it would probably be super fucking annoying to do and mentally draining at the same time, but in the end, it would be something I could enjoy. <sighs> Anyway. And right now, two boys beside me are in uniforms, and one is in an expensive suit. I can see- I can sense everyone glimpsing at us. We stand out too much. Whoa, look at this! This is a sword for a justice warrior! The name is Excalibur! Even the name is cool! Do I become immortal with this? So cool! Oi, cherry boy, shut up! We're here to buy clothes, not your toys. <laughs> You're scared that I might become stronger. Then I'll finish you right here, right now. Bring it on, you villain. Hey, 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 don't swing that thing. More people are staring at us. I want to have a sign glued onto my face. Written, I am not with these strange people. Master, master. Yunho pulled at my clothes from behind. He lowered his gaze and hesitated. 
My stomach's growling. The tasty things you talked about. Can we get them now? I checked my phone and realized that a lot of time has passed. Let's see. If we want to eat in the department store, we have to head downstairs to the food court. Hmm, this should be fun. At one side, Tay grabbed a pamphlet and mumbled. It was a paper ad displayed at the store entrance. Among all the ads, Tay was looking at the ad for the bookstore in the department store. He's more perfect for me every time I find more information on him. Like, he works in a cafe, and a really, really, like, nice established cafe that has musical instruments and, like, has class to it. He's mature, and he's attractive, and he's, like, responsible, and now he's, like, books! Ah, God! I need someone like this in my life! God damn it. What is? There's a new book. I've wanted to read it, and the reviews look pretty good. I should get one since we're here anyways. You've been reading a lot of Grandpa's books. He must like to read a lot. Oh, your grandpa collected very good books. It's a shame I've read all- It's a shame I've read most of them now. Most of them? All those books? Yeah, I focused and got through them quickly. Maybe I have a gift for reading books fast. Amazing. It's hard for me to even read one. Ugh. The main character does not portray me very well at all, but that's okay, because it's not- it's supposed to be a universal main character for these kinds of things, but like, I read so many books! Like, so many. A lot of them are manga, and that's perfectly okay. But I also have a bunch of classics on my bookshelf. Like, I have Dracula, Frankenstein, Dr. Jekyll, and Mr. Hyde. I have Pride and Prejudice, which I have to read in class, so I have a textbook. I textbook that I don't have to buy at all because I already own it and I have sense and sensibility wait which one's the one that I was reading currently I can't oh shit the one that I was reading currently was sense and sensibility I haven't even touched pride and prejudice yet I'm gonna have to read a whole bunch of it God damn it. Well, at least I don't have to buy it. Right now we're doing The Walking Dead, which is kind of weird that we're doing that in college, but eh. He's putting it at a college level, so I have a really good professor to be able to spin stuff like that into college courses. Anyhow. I try to read at least one book every month, but it's not easy. I suddenly had respect for Tay. Ugh, I can't handle this anymore! Okay, everyone's going their separate ways. My delicate mind won't be able to handle it if we all go together. I knew this would happen from shopping with boys. This is such a travesty. If anyone finds something they want to buy, just call me. Don't poke around, alright? Just stay at the fashion corner unless you don't want to get famous through the missing child broadcast. Yuri spoke to all of us, but I think he was talking to Red, who was running around excitedly here and there. Let's hope that thing doesn't happen. Where will you be? I'll be at the third floor, just so you know, everything you guys can wear will be at the casual section at the fourth floor. You, the second floor, darling. A lot of clothes for beautiful ladies there. But if you have a hard time choosing, I can go with you. How about it? I have a lot of clothes, so it's fine. Honey, now's not the time to play hard to get. Do you know what it means for a man to buy clothes for a woman? I can guess, so I will refuse. Ugh, so cold. Well, it's one of your charms. All right, I like taming wild kittens. It's so tiresome to handle Yuri all the time. I turned around to ask what the other boys planned to do. Then I noticed Lance looking at the fountain inside the department store. Alone again. I approached Lance. What are you going to do? Everyone else looks like they'll go their own way. I think there is a rest area on the eighth floor. I'm thinking of staying there until everyone has finished the shopping. You're not going to shop? No. They did not come here to buy clothes in the first place. Not here to buy clothes? Then why did he come? I wanted to ask Lance why, but he didn't seem like he'll answer even if I did. Darling, what do you plan to do? Yuri followed me and asked. Uh... Well, obviously, I would probably go to the resting area, because that's where Lance is going. But... I don't know. Oh, fuck. What do I say? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I need to... I need a quick save. 
Um, personally, if it was the since we're supposed to be making choices that are that are supposed to go down Lance's route, I would say that going to the resting area would be the better option than just looking around and shopping. But I don't know if that's the right thing to do. Cause like, what if it's not? Cause like, I don't want to end up being like fucking Yunho from like the other let's pl the like the first let's play of this game because it's like no i don't want to fucking do that because no that was creepy and, ah. i'm still editing through all the creepy parts where he's being like a obsessed little shit and yeah i don't want to be that type of person ever but like i don't know how else to go about this ah. I quick saved, so it's fine. I'm just gonna choose the fucking resting area, and if it's wrong, then it's wrong. Okay? Fine. Doing it. I think I'll be on the eighth floor with Lance. I feel it'd be better for me to just stay quiet with Lance at the rest area. Since today's sale day, I probably, I'll probably get tired trying to get through all those people, and it bothered me that Lance didn't want to shop. Aw, look, he's all cute and surprised and stuff. Lance looked at me, looking quite surprised. Oh, what a shame. I wanted to buy something for you. I'm fine, and just because I said yes, don't splurge too much since it's someone else's money. Don't worry about that. I do have common sense, you know. Yeah, yeah, of course. You will only get bored if you are with me. That's not true. I wanted to cool my head at a relaxed place anyways. I smiled at Lance, and he turned his head a bit. <laughs> Yellow! Then should Yellow move with me? We can choose our weapons and get something to eat! Red dragged Yunho's arm. What? What? Wait, um, Master? Yunho looked at me, feeling nervous about going with Red. Be careful, you'll be fine. Probably. Well, I am a bit nervous. Uh, I, I will go with Master. We'll be back! Red excitedly dragged Yunho away and disappeared into the children's section. It looked like Red was forcefully dragging Yunho away, but Red won't harm him. Lance, are you going to stay at the rest area the whole time? I refuse to be stuck in a crowded place. Alright, just don't bore the person you're with. <laughs> that was subtle. Thanks, Tay! <laughs> Lance looked at Tay with a strange expression. The air was a bit tense between the two. Oh, if you're worried about me, I'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> that face is like, are you sure? Like, you did choose Yunho the first time around. Like, are you fucking sure? Like, when are you gonna come after me now? Like, come on. I'm pr I'm obviously the better choice. Like, are you sure? <laughs> Tay silently looked at me. Then I'll be at the bookstore. Huh? You're not shopping for clothes? Don't worry. I'll go to the bookstore first and then shop for clothes. Yuri took out his hidden card, so I should at least get three pairs. Tay waved and slowly disappeared. Darling, that guy over there is wasting money just because it's from someone else. Keep him in mind. Tay has been taking care of the housework for us. He cooks breakfast, washes our clothes. He deserves it. Are you discriminating? You're not interested in him, are you? Huh? Boys like him whose actions don't match their words are dangerous, you know. Do you know how perverted he is? FYI, a man like me who's same on the outside as the inside is the best. As Yuri rattled on excitedly, people started to stare again. <laughs> but you know what? It's better to be reserved about the sexual stuff. Like, it is. Like, it really is. Because it shows, like, nowadays, it shows that you're a lot more responsible and respectful if you're able to, like, be more subtle and reserved with those things. Like, I know I fly out, fly my mouth about some stuff but honestly like i'm pretty reserved about it for the most part otherwise like the only thing i'm pretty open about is like my fucking period because it's like if you know what i'm grumpy this is what i if and like sure i am a little bit extra grumpy and a little bit extra tough touchy on my period but if i want you to know or you ask me why i'm having cramps and why i feel like shit like i'll fucking tell you like you ask me a question i'll fucking answer it like, it's just how I am. But, like, it's... I don't know, like... 
I don't know. I just like people who are reserved about that stuff. Because it's nice. It's, it's a nice change. Especially if it comes from a guy. Because, I don't know. It's just nice. I hope Yuri goes to buy clothes fast. I'll be off first. Wait for me, Lance. I hurriedly followed Lance, determined to escape this situation. The escalator was crowded. When I got when I was about to get on the escalator, ah! The person in front of me shoved me with her bag and I stumbled. Uh, I'm falling. <gasps> oh, does he catch you? <gasps> he fucking catches you! I feel solid arms grab me. It's dangerous. Be careful. Really. Lance looked a bit annoyed. I cannot relax a single moment. So sorry and thanks. I should really be careful not to fall now. So I hope he lets me go now. He's almost hugging me. I felt heated in embarrassment. I hurriedly held on to the handles and gathered myself. We don't get a fucking CGI for it. No. No. Damn it. Why? I want a CGI for it! I want a CGI! Ugh. I hurriedly held on to the handles and gathered myself. I looked up to Lance, trying to look calm. He was expressionless as usual. I wanted a fucking CGI for that. Fuck you. What is Lance thinking right now? I felt curious. Nowadays, I've been thinking of him often. I want to know what he's thinking. We arrived at the rest area while I was thinking of Lance. Oh, we're here. We took the escalator several times and arrived at the 8th floor. <sighs> that felt long for some reason. I followed Lance, heading straight forward. We sat at a bench far away from the crowd. The rest area at the 8th floor was larger than I expected. In the middle of the large space was a fountain shooting water upwards, and around it children ran around playing. There were quite a few cup- <laughs> I can't seem to talk lately. <laughs> there were quite a few couples around, too. They must be on a date at the shopping mall. Unlike the customers chasing sale items, they seemed peaceful. Aw, we get a CGI of him resting on the bench. But we don't get a CGI of him catching me when I fall! Fucking priorities, these people. <sighs> now I can breathe. I remember getting shoved around the escalator earlier. If I go down to shop right now, I'll surely be in trouble among those fierce hunters. Lance was silently looking at the fountain. Are you sure you don't need more clothes? I am not interested. He says he's not interested, but I feel like he's missing out. I wanted to pick some out for you. <laughs> oh well, you're not interested. I wanted to dress him in cool outfits now that he has a human body, but oh well. I think of the men clothes I saw while taking the escalator. That outfit, it would fit him so well. Darn. I feel like I'd be able to get through the fierce crowd if I'm shopping for Lance. Do not mind me. You should go down. What? I do not want to bore you. Huh? Oh no, it's nothing like that. I shook my head. He must have been bothered that I stayed still. To be honest, I wasn't planning on shopping for myself today. I just came along so Red and Yunho could pick out some clothes. You know, I kind of want to eat something. Do you want something? I heard that the strawberry and chocolate ice cream was really good here. When did you hear such a thing? You really like sweets. Do you even keep track of your calorie intake? Don't talk about calories! <laughs> Talking about calories is taboo in a girl's world. Oh. Lance winced. Aww. He's trying so hard. Huh? Okay. I was too harsh. Huh? Lance apologized right away, unlike his usual self. Oh, uh, well, ice cream is so good, you don't have to care about calories, so it's okay. The air became awkward, so I ba blabbed out loud to clear the air. Alright. Wait here. What? Lance suddenly stood up and headed towards the ice cream shop. Are, are you getting ice cream? Wait, I'll, I'll get out my wallet. It's fine. Stay here so you don't get shoved around. Hmm. I sat down on the bench after Lance's scolding. I felt butterflies even though he was scolding me. Soon Lance returned with an ice cream cup in his hand. Aww! He's so cute! Oh, he's adorable! 
Oh, thanks. How about you? I'm fine. He handed me the ice cream and sat still just like before. He must be listening to the water fountain. I scoop up some ice cream with my spoon and put it in my mouth. Wow, this is really good. No wonder it's so popular. Lance, want to try some? I do not like sweet things. Lance immediately refused. What should I do? Fuck, why is it giving me another option? And then quick save. Um... Honestly, I want to fucking give him a spoon of ice cream. Like, I... I want to give him a spoon of ice cream, so I'm doing it. I can't just back away now. Besides, he bought it for me. I'd feel bad if I ate this by myself. Just try one spoon. Here, try it. <laughs> His face is like, why are you doing this to me? I just told you I don't like sweets. I scoop up some and hold it out in front of his nose. Lance looked at the tip of the spoon with a strange expression. Say, ah. Uh, what? Ah. Uh, I, I am, f I'm fine. Why? This is really good. You'll like it too. It's not that sweet. I said I'm fine. Hey, come on, open. <sighs> and just one spoon. Just one. Wait a minute. Huh? Where are you going? Lance looked at me as if I asked him something stupid. To get a spoon. Why? I have one. You can just use mine. Just give it back. <laughs> right, there's this thing that is in Japan, and I don't know if it's like cross-cultural- cross-culturally in the Asian countries, but, uh, there's this thing where if you share anything with another person, it's like an indirect kiss. So... That's probably what he's thinking about right now, and Aerie's just like, Oh yeah, no, you don't need to do that. Here, share mine. And it's like, dude, you don't understand. This is an indirect kiss. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> oh, this is cute and adorable. The children's laughter cuts through Lance's silence and echoes in the clear sky. No. Why? Oh, do you want more? It's all right. Take as much as you want. You bought it. It's not that. Huh? That spoon, you used it. That's like k kissing. I couldn't hear the last thing he said because of the fountain. What? Oh, sorry, I didn't hear it. Nothing. Anyways, I'm fine. He said he'd try it just a moment ago. So moody. Why suddenly? Eat it by yourself. And now he seems mad. I felt a bit timid, wondering if I'd made another mistake. What do I do? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. You know what? You know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do to the cheeky bastard? That's what I'm gonna do. Here. <laughs> look at his face. Look at it. And look at my fingers just like underneath his chin going, Here, you bastard. Take the fucking ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's so surprised. Look at him. This is great. I shoved ice cream into Lance's mouth. Lance looks surprised. Stay still with the ice cream in his mouth. See? I told you it's good. I smiled. Lance? Huh? L Lance? Lance froze. His face looks a bit red. Is he mad? I carefully take the spoon out of his mouth. You are so, you are so Lance looked at me astounded. Well, wow, I've never seen him so astonished before. So sorry, are, are are you okay? Your face is red. I'm going crazy. Huh? I couldn't hear, so I asked again and Lance turned his head. It's nothing. Is he mad? I ended up emptying the whole cup by myself. I felt my mouth get cold and looked at all the people. Far away, I saw a child humming to a song and walking while holding his mom's hand. Um, I remember when Grandpa was alive. One of my memories with him flashes through my mind. It was something I've been forgetting for a long time. I think of the memory of Grandpa and I in the department store, and it's like a black and white picture framed in my mind. Lance opened his eyes. Lance, do you remember Grandpa? Lance silently nods. How would Lance remember him? 
You were the only doll I had when he was alive. You were my very first doll. Lance was my first doll and my ultimate type. When I'm with you, sometimes I think of Grandpa. It may sound weird to you, but just now I thought of another memory. I've been forgetting it. Lance is quiet. He blinked with his blue eyes a couple of times and opened his mouth. Speak. Huh? About that memory of Grandpa you were just reminded of. I smiled at his enthusiasm. You want me to tell you? Lance doesn't answer. I understood his silence as a yes and closed my eyes, and drowned myself in old memories. When I was little, my grandpa and I came to the department store, and I saw kids walk hand in hand with their moms. I kept staring at them because I was so jealous, and when I pulled myself together, I realized I'd let go of grandpa. It was really crowded like today, so I was shoved around here and there, and eventually the security guard dragged me to the Lost Children's Center. Soon I saw grandpa again, and he was pale as a ghost. I thought I'd start crying when I saw him again, but after seeing grandpa hold me tight and start to cry as soon as he saw me, I just couldn't. I just closed my eyes with my arms wrapped around his broad back. I remember thinking his back felt so small that day. After that, whenever I went to a crowded place, I never let go of his hand. I stopped in embarrassment after I grew up, but now I regret that. I should have held his hand more when he was alive. <laughs> Oops, I'm getting all messy here. <laughs> I was getting too sentimental in this bright sunny day, and besides, Lance was by my side. I touched my hair to get rid of the embarrassment. Then Lance suddenly stood up. Lance? I've changed my mind. And then... what? what He's grabbing my wrist? I felt his touch at my wrist. It's hot. What's gotten into him? My heart pounded at his sudden move. What? wait w w where are you going? Lance held onto his wrist and walked fast. What's wrong? Did I do something? He was still holding onto my arm when we got on the escalator, and he took me to the fourth floor. Lance, wait, why are we here? To buy clothes, he answered and let go of me. What? Really? Yes, but I do not know much about clothes, so you'll have to choose. Me? Can I? Do you think I'm playing around? This, this is my chance! Hmm, okay. Alright, uh, my, uh, my X number of years of dressing up dolls finally became handy. What kind of look do you want? Do you have anything in mind? A look. Okay. Lance thought hard for a moment and shook his head. Any look will be fine. Choose as you please. You sure you want me to? I'm really going to choose anything I want. That's fine. Go ahead. Whatever you choose, I will like it. Even that lemon tea. He's so cute. He's so fucking cute. He's such a cindere. I swear to god, he's a cindere. And he's so fucking cute. He's just, he's just, he's just so fucking cute. Ah! Ah! Oh, man. Apparently, I like cindere's. Even though they piss me off in anime sometimes. God fucking damn it. Why? Huh? What? I think he just said lemon tea. Is he saying he liked the lemon tea I brought him before? Never mind. Lance turned away. Hmm, whatever. What's important now is that I can choose out I can choose outfits for Lance. Anyways, you want me to style you, huh? Good! Since you brought me ice cream, I'll try my best. Let's go! I started in excitement, but I didn't know why all of a sudden Lance wanted to buy clothes. But it didn't seem to matter. Now that Lance is a bit more enthusiastic, I feel better. The box of memories of my grandpa I opened earlier was shut tight. And I felt happy. Beside me was Lance. Hmm, how about this navy coat? It's fall soon. I make Lance try this and that. Oh my, it suits you. Doesn't it? I was thinking of getting it with that shirt we saw earlier. That shirt's nice too, but how about this checkered one? I think they meant to put checkered. It just came in. Wow, this looks good. Lance, try this on. And if you match it with these pants, they'll look perfect. Wow, this looks good too! Lance, try this on too! How about this? This is a must-have for a trendsetter. Wow, this one looks good too! Lance, try this on! <laughs> He's starting to get annoyed, I bet. What? Hurry up! Ugh. Lance let out a big sigh. But I think a sigh is better than expressing nothing. 
Lance might think it's weird to think that, so let's not mention it. Alright, I'll try them on, so wait here. Lance stared into my eyes and told me to wait. Ah, uh, my heart's pounding again! It's been kind of weird. While Lance went into the fitting room, I carefully looked at all the pieces the salesperson recommended. You guys look so nice together. Sorry? You and your boyfriend. Oh, no, he's just a friend, a friend. Actually, he's my doll. There's no way I could have said that. But wait, did she just say that I look like his girlfriend? If Zoe finds out about this, my lifespan will be cut by a third. Oh, my. I turned my head at the sales girl's, sales girl's admiration. Wow. Lance stood there, dressed head to toe in the clothes I chose for him. He looks much better than I expected. I feel my face getting heated again. My heart seems to beat faster, too. You look so good! Are you a model? Look at that outfit. Look at that fit. Do not touch me. Oh, I I I'm sorry. The sales girl was about to reach out to Lance, but quickly pulled her hands back. I remember the commotion at the cafeteria a couple days ago, but I didn't want to nag on a day like this, so I stood still. How is it? Are they too tight? They are better than I expected. They fit well. The size seems good. Hmm, but it's missing something. I think it'll suit your doll body, too. Oh, did she say that out loud in front of the salesperson? I feel the doll fangirl inside me burn up with excitement again. There is nothing missing. Anyways, now that we've chosen everything, I will call Yuri. Ignoring my burning passion at an artisan, Lance called Yuri. And soon, Yuri arrived. Welcome, sir. Didn't you say you'd be at the 8th floor? But why all of a sudden... Yuri entered, grumbling. But before I could even say hi, he disappeared from my sight. Yuri approached the sales girl with lightning speed. Mademoiselle, I did not think I would see you here today. W what Um, sir. I'm disappointed that you do not recognize me. But I know that it's my fault. My fault for always keeping you in my dreams. HA! Oh my god, no! Fuck! No! 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 That is such a disgusting pickup line that's so fucking cheesy and gross, like, don't. No! No! <sighs> Yuri's at it again. It's going to get. It's going to get tiresome soon, so I should have him pay fast and get out of here. Yuri, give me your wallet. I got a hold of Yuri, who was about to ride unicorns in his fantasy world, and took his wallet. The place got hectic because of Yuri, but thanks to Lance the Buzzkill, we got out of the store safely. I wish I could have seen what the outfit looked on him. Ah, what is this? Yuri was crying out loud with both his hands full of the receipts. I remember hearing something like that this morning. Must be deja vu. All the rest of the boys ignored Yuri and sat down in the living room to drink the tea Yunho made. Ah, this is good. Hey, why are your clothes so expensive? Didn't you say you were only getting three things? Yeah, three outfits top to bottom. There weren't that many people in the designer section. I wanted to boost up their sales. Then what is this receipt for shoes? Oh, that's mine. Commander told me my sneakers were too worn out and chose a pair for me. I bought some track suits too. The commander said a justice warrior must have muscles. So now I'm going to work out a lot to be a muscular justice warrior. <laughs> Muscles are necessary for justice warriors. Muscle red. Muscular red. How awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, right, yellow. You should work out with me, too. Muscular yellow will be so cool. Me? I suddenly thought of something that gave me goosebumps. Picturing a muscular chick, I immediately shook my head. No, please not that. If that happens, the whole Kroby Academy will be in mourning. The whole school will be wailing. And what's this? I think this is from Lance's store. What? How many zeros? Lance, I trusted you. You spent the most. What? And this? Hey, you. You got a coat too? I only got what matched my outfit. I recall you telling us to buy whatever we want. Are you changing your words now? You, you, the always honest and confident one. Ugh, say whatever. Yeah, yeah, it's all my fault. My fault. I was such a fool to let you guys waste my money and time when... When I could have devoted them to a lady. Ugh. Yuri tore up the receipts and yelled, and went into his room, slamming the door. He must be really mad. Leave him be. That's how he'll learn to be careful with his money, and he'll probably come back when he gets hungry. Tay said in a relaxed way. Seeing him know Yuri so well, I felt as if Tay was the actual master of the house. <laughs> Tay is kind of scary. 
But hey, why did he get mad like that? Yuri bought the most out of all of us. That's true. Most of the shopping bags covering the living room belongs to Yuri. Well, I guess since he bought them with his own money. Oh, Yunho, what did you get? Oh, I got pajamas, t-shirts, um, sneakers, and pants. You got a lot. Good, good. I stroked his head and he smiled. Then I should get going and think through all the things that happened today. <clears throat> as soon as I came into my room, I saw at my desk and opened. I sat at my desk and opened my diary. I write in my diary every day, but for some reason, words didn't really come out today. My pencil stopped at one point because I remembered Lance holding onto my arms at the department store earlier today. I have no idea how to write down what I felt at that moment. I kept on thinking about Lance who sat by me at the rest area, and I continued to think about his eyes and face. The moments when his cold face showed tiny hints of emotions repeat in my head. I touched the parts of my wrist Lance held onto. The warmth has disappeared, but I feel like I can still feel it. I closed my eyes and recall that moment. Ah, my smartphone suddenly rang. It's from Lance. Thank you for choosing my clothes. Aww, little Lancey Pansy Poo! He's so fucking cute! I felt touched that Lance sent me a text first. Come to think of it, Lance didn't seem too keen, but he still did everything I wanted to. Thanks to that, I no longer felt gloomy about Grandpa. Gratitude gushes, gushed inside me. I should reply. No problem. Let's go to Banjul together soon for that lemon tea. No. I happily imagined going to Banjul with Lance and set the text. Huh? A reply? Already? It was unlike him to respond so soon. Alright. Oh, he's so cute! He's so cute! The message was short and said, Alright. Ah, I feel so happy. I really should go to Banjul with him sometime soon. Oh, right! Since I bought new clothes, I have to take pictures. I felt excited and stood up with my smartphone. I'll write in my diary later. First, I should take pictures. You were here. Thank God. Thank God. Grandpa! Yes, yes. Were you afraid? You didn't cry? Yes, Grandpa. I didn't cry. Good. I'm sorry I lost you. Grandpa, I'm fine. I wasn't scared. You were going to find me anyways. Here, Grandpa. Give me your hand. Let's go back. The house is empty. The funeral is over. Lance, it's really just you and me now. <laughs> just you and me in this huge house. But you won't die? Yeah, I'm good. I'll be fine. When I wake up tomorrow, you'll be here. Right, Lance? Aww. That was really sad. Well, I'm gonna end it here for now, guys. It was a really sweet moment between the two of them, wasn't it? It was really sweet. And we're finding out more about what it was like for her to lose her grandpa and what kind of connection she had with him. So that's good, at least. So let's end on a good note, okay? Alright, see you in the next one. Later! Mm -hmm.